Here's one for you. I'm, um, here's my, my office, here's my address. Um, most of them, I'm in between them. My Westwood addresses. 111,000 Wilshire and 101001 Dealey. Little finger. Back in uh, the 80s, when someone really ran me off the road, the 405, I followed them into Westwood and was flashing my lights and maybe blowing my horn. And um, I was stopped by police. The other person was set free. I was arrested and then later released. Uh, charged with road rage. But if memory serves me correct, when the court heard the case, they dismissed the charges. Now, there are other charges that are in my file for those of you who have been digging. Um, many of them uh, were put there under the direction of the Department of Justice uh, to build a profile, which made it easier for them to send me in and out of places they wanted me to go, whether I liked it or not. And then would later get calls or communiques from government officials asking me about certain matters. I have never voluntarily worked for any entities in those related fields around the world. However, when you know too much and you're related to people in government, whole family history from father, mother, to cousins and other relatives, and you have a high IQ, um, and you get the friendly call from the Department of Justice via the FBI telling you that if you didn't cooperate, you would have these seven charges put against you. And when I asked if I could call an attorney, as I was supposed to as have it right, I was told no deal off the table. And the offer that they gave me was life in a federal penitentiary, getting my ass kicked so they could get whatever the fuck they wanted. And um, I think I had to pay like $10 million for the privilege in fines. And there was no negotiation. There was just do it or die. In your 20s, what would you do? Would you say, take me away. I can hardly wait to be waterboarded. Somewhere in the world. Or any other torture they desire. See, there is no good time in bedtime, and when you're doing life, it's a nightmare, I hear. But you know, maybe someone who served several life sentences in domestic and foreign federal prisons. Um, obviously later to be released. Fortunately, my longest international life sentence was five days. My um, domestic one much later reduced after a couple of months um, went down to misdemeanors because I was being charged with uh, possession of medical marijuana, which I had license for. And um, medical brownie, both were um, to be considered consecutive, so they weren't concurrent. Uh, and then there was also multiple identities on a federally issued passport from the State Department, um, which obviously I didn't issue myself. The State Department did, and if they had called them like I asked for the first day, and I hadn't been burned by somebody in the FBI who wanted me in there for some dumbass reason. Uh, but the corruption was verified when the local police department busted into a hotel room without a warrant in Armadillo, Amarillo, Texas, and um, threw me to the ground and handcuffed me without a search warrant. 
and uh, said, who are you talking to on the phone? And I said, the FBI agent. And uh, they picked up the phone, and the FBI confirmed they immediately hung up on them. So the FBI heard that I was being taken away again uh, on bullshit charges. For a second time in that same state. Got out and then was going in jail again on similar charges. I think they're still a misdemeanor there. I haven't figured out state where they want me for a year. Good luck, Chuck. Ain't going anywhere near your state. Ain't going there. Keeping distance. <sighs> um, but what brought me to this whole conversation is I've been witnessing for several hours now since. Uh, Sun was down. Uh, strings of loud, obnoxious cars. And isn't it funny that a lot of them match cars that come in and out of the FBI lot of rapid fire promotion? And if I had been making the amount of noise and disturbance they had, I would be already in handcuffs. These guys have been listened to, say, periodically and doing some really loud, obnoxious things. If we have a chance to capture them, if I'm still in the area, when they go off again, because they just went through uh, about five, 10 minutes here, I was in the middle of doing other uh, catch-up work, we'll call it. Uh, but by the way, to you um, people who have been jacking my phone and stuff, all the records are being turned over to me, and then they're gonna be turned over to others to follow up on your dumbass. You're not gonna walk for free on this one. There are tips and rewards. So you can go away for a long time. Because not only have you robbed me of intellectual property and intel you should never have had access to. Corrupted databases, modified facts, put all kinds of strange stuff in my data. There's a lot of data we're bringing back that you hope to the internet get crushed. UCLA, first name unknown, last name Anjama, 1439, and date of birth 1 1, 1900. This 122 year old dead guy is coming for you all.